Hi, I'm Angela Wolf, a fashion designer and online instructor, and today I want to talk about designing a peplum. Peplum top, which came back in the 80s that kind of coincided with dance wear, they're back in style again with the leggings, the skinny jeans. So here's a couple of styles. Two of the same tops. They started with the same pattern, although I changed the sleeve and the neckline a little bit, but these are the same, just even a basic t-shirt would work. And this is the peplum that I'm talking about. Look at how full this one is. And look at this one. I made this one a little bit longer and not quite as full. You could also change the waistline to be higher, lower. This could be wider, shorter. You got all the options. I'm gonna give you the basics. The only other thing I did was on this, I made the bottom a little bit longer. So if you were to do this top shorter, say closer to your waist, you could make it a little bit longer in the back so then when you sit down, it doesn't curve on the back. Covers your tush up. So let me show you how easy this pattern is. First, I've already cut two skirts so you could see this hanging without on a mannequin. This was the top that had very little drape, the one that was a little bit longer. And this is what the bottom pattern looks like for the peplum. Notice I added three and a quarter inches to each one. This would be the center fold. Okay, here's the other one. Let's see. This is the one without the drape, this is the one with the drape. Look at how much flow this has. That's why I use the same fabric, so you could see the difference. This is the pattern, slide this up a little bit, for that one, the one that had a lot of fullness. Again, this could be shorter, longer, longer in the back, and here I added all the way. It's almost, if you were to line this up with your fabric, this is almost a circle skirt. If you know what that is, that's a whole entire piece. So that's the concept. Now let me show you how to do this. Get these out of the way here. Here I have just a basic pattern. Again, a simple t-shirt. If you don't wanna make a whole top, buy a t-shirt and we'll add something to the bottom. I'll just do the front. And I want to decide where I want that seam for the peplum to start. So on this one, I'm going to go a little bit higher. Now, if you go too high, you're going to have an empire waist, which is right under the bust. I don't want to go quite that high. I'm going to go right to here. So that's going to be my cutoff point. Now, you don't have to have a seam there. I did on both of those tops because it's easier for me to show you this. But if you did not want to add a seam, you're still gonna cut this apart. I'm gonna tell myself to add a seam allowance to each of these lines. Every time you cut a pattern apart in an area like this, you're gonna need a seam allowance so when it goes back together, it fits. But what I could do is alter this whole bottom part for the peplum and then tape this piece back together and then I would have one pattern piece and you don't have to have a seam. You know I'm gonna give you a lot of options, but Pick whichever one you like. So here is my pattern. This is going to be my center fold. And now I'm just gonna draw myself a few lines. Just make a couple. You need a base because what you're gonna do is spread this pattern out. If you've ever seen the jackets with the peplum at the bottom, those are so fun to make and great to wear. Those aren't open too far, but it's the same concept here. So there are my lines, and I'm gonna actually lift this up so I can cut this. There we go. If you saw the sleeve episode where we made the bell at the bottom, this is almost the exact same concept. You're gonna make a little slide, just like this. I'm just gonna open them up. There is one thing you need to do, though, while you're doing this, is when you open these up, they need to be equal. It just looks better. So I wouldn't really wanna do that. That's too hard of a line to follow. So I'm gonna give myself one more. And if you notice, as I'm opening this, the bottom of the hem again, oops. Let's just tape that back in place. It's not a big error if that breaks. Here we go. That looks pretty good. Now, notice because I added so many pieces to make this peplum, it gives me a line to follow. Now, this is what you don't wanna do. You do not wanna just take this and draw a straight line from here to here. That's not how it works. This actually is a curve. And as you're looking at the pattern, you'll notice that this just curves around. 
So if you have a French curve, I always end up freehanded on here, but if you have a French curve, you can line this up and have just one nice seam all the way around. Okay, now what if you did this and then you want this to be shorter? You need to decide the length before you do this because if this is how wide I want it to be and then all of a sudden I decide to hem it five inches, this is gonna be a lot narrower than this is going to be. So that's gonna be my peplum pattern. Super easy to do. And again, I mentioned that if you don't wanna have a seam here, once this pattern is all finished, I'll tape this down and cut it out and that would be my pattern. Just like I showed you on the earlier pieces, I would take my front and line this up. Just like this. Now you're gonna look at that and say, that doesn't work. Well, actually what you would do here is again, use a curve and this is called truing. I would just give myself, this would be your seam all the way up. And when you get to here, you just wanna make it a nice curve. Just like that. Simple. So then your top would be fitted to here and flare and drape. Actually, this is gonna be my next top and I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter and longer in the back to wear with skinny jeans. All right, so how do you sew this together? Well, if you have a seam right through here, this is a stretch knit. Now, that can stretch, and when you're sewing, it can really make a mess. So if you have a sewing machine and you're sewing with your sewing machine, make sure you use a slight zigzag for your stitch. If you have a serger, they have this foot here. This is called an elastic foot. If you don't have that, you could use a regular foot and just slide the elastic under, but I wanted to show you this because this is really easy to use. It has a little knob right here. And what that does is it, it gets real tight with that elastic. This is clear elastic. It has a little stretch, not much. The point of this elastic is not to stretch. The point is to sew it in the seam to stabilize it. There's also something on this foot that has a knob. Right now it's set at zero. The higher you turn that knob, the more it's gonna stretch the elastic as you stitch and gather the fabric. We want this at zero. We are only using this elastic to stabilize the seam. The same thing you'd use in the shoulders on a knit, um, sometimes on the neckline. So I'm gonna go to the serger and we're gonna install this to the top or the back. You're gonna do both. So I'm keeping this all together in one piece. Notice on here I'm keeping the elastic pretty far back. There's a reason for this, because if you start surging, let me make sure my needle's in the up position. Just snap that foot on here. Slide that back in. When I'm using this foot, if I start sewing, or surging, I should say, with this right, the elastic right here, it's not going to lead into the fabric. You'll end up sewing your entire seam and the elastic won't move at all. So I'm pulling it to the back, way back here. So when I put my fabric under, it will match up. So I'm taking, this is the seam. Make sure I got the right seam here. This would be the waist seam. It's very curved and very stretchy. And just pick one of your pieces of fabric. This is, this looks like it's the back, the back waist. And with right sides together, line up your fabric. I'm not gonna take the time to pin it, but you'd wanna pin it all the way across and make sure that everything fits correctly. But I'm just going to run this to the serger so you can see how easy this is to use. For my settings on the serger, I'm just using a regular three thread wide overlock using the left needle, not the right one, because it just covers the elastic a little bit more. I'm gonna put this elastic just loosen it up. And when you're surging, make sure you don't tighten this. I'm gonna start surging. Let me lift up this foot. I'm gonna go a little ways and I'm gonna pull this out so you can see what's going on here. But basically, I'm sewing both of these layers and the elastic all in one. All right, let's see what we have going on here. Okay, I wanna pull this out a little bit. See this area here that started to pucker? Can you see this with all of these tight stitches? That is a no-no. And that is because when I started surging, I wasn't leading the fabric out. Mm -hmm. 
All right, that's good. Now, I'm going to just take the whole foot with me so you can see what has happened here. That's not what you would normally do. But I'm gonna just pull this out, trim the thread a little bit, and go back to the table. I think you'll see this a little bit better. All right, so here's my seam. Now this is what I was talking about. This is where it started, and all of this started to scrunch. That is not what you want. That is where I was telling you the elastic is stretching as it's going in, see that? That's not what you want on the clear elastic. Now can you see closely here, this section right here is perfect. That's the stitches you want. The fabric will still stretch to go over your head. It goes back into place. And from the right side of the garment, from here to here, there are no puckers. Look what you have here. That's not what you want for this style. Now if you want to gather the whole thing, go ahead. And then you would look more like this section here. So you would sew this seam here. You would sew the back, both of the side seams and the shoulders, just like you would the top. But this section here would be where your peplum goes. Hem it like you would normally do, and then you have your top. Now if you had done it this way, then you wouldn't have to worry about this. So this is a very simple way to alter a basic t-shirt, a top, add the peplum, have fun with it, and enjoy this new style. <laughs>